All right. We just talked a little bit about the, the, the process of digestion. Let's let's bring it down into little smaller groups to start with. Okay. HCL, hydrochloric acid. You you can actually go into a hardware store and buy it, and it's what they use to clean concrete. It's that acidic. It's some powerful stuff. Right. It will probably burn a hole through this table if you spill it on it over time. Correct. So we need to have that in our stomachs. It's essential for the digestive process. Correct. If somebody is taking an antacid, and so the, 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 the range on the pH is like 1.6 pH to 3. Mm -hmm. If you're taking an antacid and pushing that pH up, what's the impact downstream? So because the digestive system is one interconnected system, if you compromise one element by taking an antacid, so if it should be acidic, a low pH, and you make it more alkaline, the rest of the cascade becomes compromised and digestion turns into fermentation. So we'll go through this step by step. Hydrochloric acid is meant to denature proteins. It helps the beginning, the beginning process of digestion and it also helps pathogen neutralization. If you take an antacid, that first step of digestion and the denaturing of proteins doesn't take place. And what happens after that requires a certain acidic pH to trigger the release of enzymes from the pancreas, bicarbonate from the pancreas, to not allow that acid to really dig into the tissues of the small intestine, and bile release from the gallbladder so we can properly digest fats. So if we don't have enough HCl in our stomachs, the entire acid trigger that facilitates the rest of the digestive cascade becomes compromised and you have essentially undigested or partially digested proteins entering the colon, which results in one of two things. Horrible dysbiosis over time, the buildup of things like ammonia and hydrogen sulfide and other compounds that make a fart that can clear a room. And the long-term consequences of this happening day in, day out is when we don't digest, comes back to the, f the thing you said at first, we don't assimilate and we don't properly eliminate. So we're deteriorating the health of our digestive systems, which is really reflective of the health of the entire organism as a whole. Right. So then with US enzymes, we have a product called HCL Zyme. It's plant-based. I, I believe beets is the source it's of the true. betaine. And this one you can take. Now, does our ability to produce enzymes diminish over time as we age? Yeah, you can kind of think of it as we only have so many enzymes that are able to be produced and the ability to produce enzymes is actually directly related to our ability to digest proteins because all enzymes are made up of proteins for lack of better description. And energy status is the second thing. So if we're not properly digesting our food, both of those elements that support our ability to make HCL declines as we age. Add stress, nutritional deficiencies, you know, that healthy diet that you mentioned before that most people ideally should be eating, we're not seeing. So the average person, simply from taking hydrochloric acid alone, helps to support the regeneration of the digestive cascade, the health of the liver, liver rather, the portal vein circulation, and just health as a whole, because what you're not digesting, you're going to ferment.